Today, I want to share something with you. I have a younger cousin brother who is about three years old. This time, when I went to my uncle's house, whenever I was asking my brother a question, he was answering that in Hindi. I was shocked because none of their family members talk in Hindi. As our mother tongue is Bengali, so all of us naturally speaks in Bengali. So there isn't any Hindi environment in their home. But whenever I was asking him a question, he was trying to answer that in Hindi. So I went to my auntie and asked her about this. And she said that he likes to watch these cartoons in Hindi. So that is from where he had learned Hindi. Surprising, isn't it? How a three-year-old child could just learn a completely new language by just watching cartoons. Hello everyone, I am Adreja. Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about this only. About the power of listening. How much listening is important in order to improve your English skills. I hope this video would be helpful to you. Even in some of my previous videos, I have already said uh, the first step in order to learn a language is listening. But here the question arises that how to start the listening practice. At first, try to think of a topic that interests you, that you love to think about. It can be any movies, any shows, motivational speech, um, stories, audiobooks, news, anything. Now search that video in YouTube and remember it must be in English okay and make sure to watch that video with headphones. Why headphones? Because when you are watching any video with headphones when you are listening to something with headphones you will be able to concentrate on that video more properly. So watch that videos with headphones. Now how long to watch? At morning minimum 15 minutes and at night minimum 15 minutes just like the doctor prescribes us medicines when we get sick probably one in the morning one at night so just like medicine we have to take this listening practice we have to practice regularly now if you are not able to understand a video then switch to a more easier video okay try this for about three months and if you can, then watch a single video repeatedly, okay? And during your laser time, try to think about it, okay? Try to think about, try to recall the video that you have watched, you have listened, and it will also help you a lot. Try this for about three months, and I'm sure that after three months, you will be able to understand these videos more easily. And when you can understand these videos easily, I'm telling you that you have already completed 50% of your English journey. Now, try to form small, small sentences about two, three or four words. Um, for example, come here, please. Please sit down. Can you pass me the pen, please? Try to form this type of sentences in English. And if you have ever seen that when a baby tries to speak his mother tongue, then at first he cannot speak big sentences. He starts by speaking small, small sentences. Afterwards, after a few months, he tries to speak big sentences. So that is what we have to do while learning English. At first, try to speak small, small sentences and then switch to bigger sentences later, after a few months. And remember this, English is just a language. If a three-year-old child can learn a completely new language just by listening, then why can't we? And a thing that is needed is you always need to be confident about yourself. You need to, you need to keep motivating yourself that you can do it. Everyone can do it. And in most of the schools and colleges, we learn English, right? What do we learn? Grammar, translation, vocabulary. But still, even if we have learned all of this, we still lack in communicating with people in English. Why? Because the schools, the schools and colleges mainly focus on improving or uh, increasing the knowledge of English. I'm not telling that these grammar vocabulary are not important. 
of course these are very very important but i think the first step that is needed to communicate with people in english is listening and then speaking and in many other medium schools other language medium schools we have seen that they teach students english in their own native language so it is just my opinion but i think that the procedure the process of teaching english to students in these schools should be changed um i know i'm really young to talk about this cuz i'm still learning right now but still i just want to share my opinion that i think if we change the procedure if we focus more on listening and speaking then we will be able to communicate in english with people easily so what is your opinion about this don't you think that it will be much better if we focus on listening and speaking in this schools so that we can improve our communication skills please don't forget to share your opinions in the comment section below and in many of my videos in the comment section i have seen that many people are trying to tell me that probably they know a lot of grammar and they know a lot of vocabulary but they still lack in communicating with people in english so um as i said try to follow the steps that i told you and i think so it would be helpful to you and you will be able to improve your english speaking skills So this was for today. I hope you understood the importance of listening. How much listening is important in order to improve our English skills. Um if you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and if you have any suggestions then please comment in the comment box below and subscribe my channel for these more such videos. Thank you.